Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. It's Imani here. So this is going to be my first beauty video of 2022. Can I still say Happy New Year? I know we're in February, but Happy New Year. And I just um, celebrated my five year anniversary on YouTube at the end of January and it's been quite amazing. And I feel like this is going to be even more amazing because what we're gonna do today is we're going to swatch all of these Fenty Beauty lipsticks. So your girl is receiving PR from Fenty Beauty now. Yes, it's happening, okay. So we have our Fenty icon here, okay. It came with a little mirror that's here, but I don't, guys, look at how dirty my, my table is. Don't look. So Fenty Beauty launched a Fenty Icon, which is a semi-matte refillable lipstick. So I got one of the cases, okay? And then I got the 10 refills. So this is quite interesting. We're gonna like see how to put it together. I'm gonna tell you all the details, but it's gonna be a lip swatch party. We haven't had one of those in a while. So I'm super excited for this. I hope you are too. You know, if this is your first time watching the beat, welcome. And if this is not your first time, you already know what it is. Don't forget to subscribe, put that bell on for notification. And without further ado, let's jump into the video. We have 10 different shades, right? It goes from like nudes to reds. So it says captivating color, velvety wear, light as air. So the Fenty Icon Semi Matte Refillable Lipstick is made to be seen. Rihanna curated every shade for the perfect lineup of high pigment, low maintenance reds and neutrals for all. Designed to be refillable, once you choose which shade you're feeling, don't forget to add the case to your cart. So these are how the lipstick comes. This is the refillable tube right here. And then this is the case. So you're gonna get the case looking just like this. All you need to do is pop out the base and then you put your lipstick in here. You heard that click. Once you attach the lipstick to the base, you want to put it down, take the cap off, and then you're gonna put it back into the case like that. And et voila. It might take you some tries to get it. I know it took me a couple tries. I smashed this one. Um, but I think after a while, you'll know how to do it. And then to open it, you just twist this and this pops out. And you can just go ahead and apply it to your lips. So I'm definitely gonna show you guys another tutorial like at the end of how you want to insert this not to smush your lipstick because I've done it to two already. So you could use me as a guinea pig, okay? And I'll put a timestamp to where I'm actually showing you how to assemble it so that when you buy yours and you're ready to do it, you just go to that, that timestamp because y'all, you will smash your lipstick. I just did it, that was the second one, okay? So each lipstick is $20. So you pay $20 for the refill and you pay $12 for the carrying case. I think it's a cool idea. I feel like it's a bit complicated to put together. I'm not going to lie. Okay, I had to go to Fenty Beauty's website. They have a tutorial video of how to do it. Um, I had to go to the website to really see what to do because it's not intuitive. And if you leave the cap on, you will smash it. So you just, just be careful because it's so pretty. Let me show you how it looks, right? It's so pretty. You don't want to smash it. And the next thing is they created the shape to like match Rihanna's Cupid bow. And I do have a little Cupid bow, so I like that. So if you smush it, you're gonna just kind of take away from the shape of it. So, you yeah, know, be careful, be careful. Okay, so I'm not gonna do this swatch without line. I'll put the lipstick on all over my lips first. And then if I think I need a liner, I'll just add the liner and we could see how wearable it is. So I'm gonna start with Mother Lover. This is how Mother Lover looks. This is a light pink nude, right? That's a swatch. Let's do it on the lips. So the formula is really lightweight and I'm just gonna go in with a brown liner. Now, even with a liner, yes, this is not my favorite shade. I feel like I would definitely have to put a gloss over this to really, really feel it. So let's add some sweet mouth to it. And I just made it even more wearable. So this is Mother Lover with Sweet Mouth Gloss Balm over it with a little bit of brown lip liner. And this I can do. Okay, what do we think? Okay, so the second one is called Pose Queen. And this is a neutral nudie pink. Let's give it a little swatch. That's it right there. This is also light. Let's go back in with the brown liner. This is nice. I like this. This one is a little more 
more nude than the other one. The other one was a bit more pink. Still not like crazy about this. So let, let's add a little bit of gloss. I feel like with gloss, colors like this look better on darker skin. That's just my opinion. So this is Pose Queen with a little bit of Sweet Mod over it, a little bit of brown liner. I'm obsessed, okay? I can do it. Without the liner, maybe not. <laughs> Okay, so the next one we're gonna try is called Scala Sister. And this is a rose nude. So this is what it looks like. Ooh, this is looking kind of mauve-y. Mm, okay. Okay, this is a little more pink. Now, one thing I like about this is when they say light as air, they actually mean light as air. It does feel very light. doesn't feel drying on your lips at all. This color with a brown liner or even like a burgundy liner, I think will be really nice. This is not a shade that I would gravitate to at all, but I'm feeling it. Tell me what you guys think. I haven't been using micellar water to take it off since I used gloss with the other ones. I was just using the gloss kind of to help me to take it off. But since we didn't put any gloss on with this, I'm using a little bit of micellar water just to get it off and it's taking it right off. So we'll see which ones will stain. But as of right now, none of them are stained. Okay, so next we have Ball and Babe. So this is what Ball and Babe looks like. Okay, this is a mauve nude. That's the swatch right there. I like this shade. I like shades like this that don't really look like anything else. Like I don't have another lipstick that looks like this. And do I even need a liner? I feel like I don't, but I want to put a little bit. So just a little bit on like the edges. That's kind of how I like to do my liner. I kind of do it at the edges and kind of like blend it together, but I am loving this color. You can still like put your lips together and it's not transferring. It's keeping the opaqueness. It's feeling soft, feeling like nothing is on your lips. So I like that. This is Fenty Beauty's like first bullet lipstick, right? Now we know they have Mademoiselle's, which I absolutely love, but I don't believe they sell these anymore. They were on super sale for a while now, and I think they're probably gone. So now they have Fenty Icon, which is a semi matte bullet lipstick that is refillable. We know Fenty Beauty is all about sustainability. Like they put that into everything that they do. So I like that it's refillable. I just wish it was an easier way to assemble the package. But don't forget, I'm gonna have that little tutorial at the end to show you guys how to quickly and efficiently put the package together. So how do we feel about this sheet? I am loving this. This is ball and babe. Okay, next is Major Magnet. This is one that I smushed. It's always like not super cute anymore. But let me just swatch it on my hand for you. And this is a cool taupe nude. So I really, really like this shade. Like I already know that I like it. It is like my lips, but better. You guys see in it? And let's just go in with a little bit of liner, just a little bit. And we're ready to go, okay? Now I'm very tempted to add gloss to this, but I'm not going to. I just want you all to bask in the color that is major magnet. This is my favorite. I haven't tried the reds yet, but I feel like this is gonna be, this is my favorite of the nudes, let me say that. Perfect nude, like hands down, perfect nude. What do we think? Okay, so this one is called SHEEO, and this is a chocolate nude, all right? So chocolate nude, let's swatch. Ooh, I think I'm gonna like this one too, okay? Let's use the little Cupid bowl. This is nice, give us a little vamp. This one feels a little bit more hydrating than all the others. This feels really good. I feel like I still wanna add liner, but I'm gonna try a different brown liner this time. Um, this liner is a bit darker than the one I've been using. Is it? I can't even tell. Y'all, are we ready for Fenty Beauty to come out with liner or what? Like, I've been waiting all these years and they still have not brought out the damn liner. I mean, really, what y'all waiting on? Love, love, love. This is a shade that I would wear in the summertime. I feel like dark lips in the summertime, it sets you apart. It lets people know that you are that girl. You don't follow the rules, okay? You're wearing your black lipstick, you're wearing your burgundy lipstick, you're wearing your brown lipstick in the summer. That lets people know that you're a different breed. That's how I feel. How do we feel? This is she a CEO. Let's move on to Flaunty Auntie. Flaunty Auntie is a mahogany nude. So this is how it looks. Ooh, loving that. Swatch it. This almost looks burgundy to me. This one is a bit smoother too. So I feel like as it gets closer to red, 
the formula kind of changes a little bit and it's much smoother. Look at how that's just gliding over my lip, you know? All right, I like this. This is so sultry. But ooh, what do we think about Flaunty Auntie? I like her. She's doing something to me, okay? I like. We're gonna do Grill Master. So Grill Master is the one I put into the case. This is the shade right here. And this is a maple red. Let's swatch it. That's a nice red. Okay, so this is a very interesting shade. Maple red, mm, okay. Now they kind of have a smell, but I can't tell what they smell like. Okay, so how are we feeling about this color? I don't know. I don't know if this is the one for me. This kind of red is kind of like a brick red. Let me try liner. And this is just a brown liner. The liner, I kind of like it, but this is not my favorite shade. My makeup is pretty neutral, so I don't know. I'm gonna have to like marinate on this shade. Let me know what you guys think. Okay, so I do wanna add that I haven't had to put on like a balm in between these swatches. Um, it's leaving my lips pretty soft. So I feel that it's like a testament to the formula. It's not too dry and it really is like a semi-matte. Okay, second to last shade that we're gonna swatch is called Board Member. Ooh, I like. That's the swatch right there. This is a burgundy red. I think I'm gonna like this. Oh my gosh. I should have saved this for last. Wow. This is a gorgeous red. Oh my gosh. Okay. If there is one shade that you absolutely need is board member. I don't care what complexion you are. This is going to look good on you. Wow. Period. I mean, Valentine's Day? Let's just have a moment of silence. This color is out of this world. Okay. This is my favorite one. Hands down. Board member. Hands freaking down. L let's go on to the last color. It's called the MVP. I don't really know. I feel like this should have been called the MVP. What? <laughs> Let me know what you think about this. Last but not least, we have the MVP, and this is a blue toned red. Now, I love a blue toned red. I also have Madame, which is my favorite, um, like red from Fenty Beauty, the Mademoiselle. Now let's swatch the MVP. Ooh, that's swatched beautifully. All right, I'm ready for this. Okay, so this, <laughs> stunning! This is stunning. This one feels like it has a little bit more moisture in it too. So I really like that. Oh my gosh. Okay, so it's a toss up between board member and this one. Absolutely love a blue tone red. This went on beautifully. Um, let me see if I have Madame. I, let me swatch Madame next to it. Okay, so Madame is a little more blue. Okay, so that's Madame right there. So they look very, very similar. That's the end of the swatch party. I absolutely love the MVP, love board member, and I love She is CEO as well. I feel like that's my lips but better. But okay, so let me know down below. Which was your fave? Are you gonna pick these up? What do we feel about the whole, you know, refillable aspect? Sound off down below. Can't wait to hear your thoughts. Of course, the links to everything will be down below of the look that I created as well. All right, so let's go into how you assemble it, okay? This refillable portion is going to come by itself and then this case is gonna come by itself. So you just, you don't want to push the case in. You just wanna pop this out want to take the cap off of the refillable part and you're going to insert it into the base. Did you hear that click? So it's wound all the way down and then you're going to take the base, the hole is there and you're going to put this in and that's it. You open it like that, put it on, click it in. So that's how it works. Okay. I feel like it will take some practice so you can definitely rewind that. <laughs> You know, if you want to know how to put it together. Now, overall, I love the shades. I like that they did nudes to red. That was pretty cool. You know, Valentine's Day is coming out. So I feel like these reds are really good. I wasn't really in love with Grill Master. I think that's the only one I didn't really love. That That's not my kind of red. But, you know, somebody out there might love it. Like, somebody out there, that might be their type of red. And I love that Rihanna is always giving us kind of like universal shades that everybody can wear. Like I could definitely wear a Grill Master, but it's not my vibe, you know? So yeah, I hope that this was helpful. I hope that you guys are gonna pick it up. Can't wait to see what you do pick up, hear more about your thoughts. 
you know, you can follow me on my social media platforms. It's Le.Beat on Instagram and on TikTok and The Beat Inc. on Facebook and on Pinterest. And without further ado, I hope you guys have a really great night. Bye.